today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute dumbbell push workout as part of my push pull legs program. Today I'll be using one heavier pair of dumbbells and one lighter pair of dumbbells. I'll link my weights for reference in the description of the video, but use whatever's right for you and what you've got available. We're going to kick off this workout with a brief body weight warm up consisting of four exercises. 40 seconds each for one round before we get into the main workout. Nice simple start, we're just gonna be circling the arms 20 seconds forwards and then 20 seconds backwards, getting some blood flowing through the shoulders. and change direction. Get ready for some inchworms, which could be walking in and out. So reach down, touch your toes, walk out into a press-up position, walk back, touch your toes, and then we're gonna walk straight back out into that press-up position inch in the hands, straight arms, straight legs. From here, we'll be going into a kneeling position, doing some alternating spine rotation so take your left arm reach under reach up now do the same with the right reach under reach up so as you reach under you're going to drop the shoulder as you reach up opening the chest and upper back it's a good one for improving the mobility of your t-spine your thoracic spine that's the upper part of your back, just below your neck. From here, we'll be coming onto the feet, picking a horizontal body position, making a Y shape. So you've got these body weight Y raises. Your elbows should stay locked out. Your torso should be as horizontal as your hamstrings allow. Maintaining a nice flat back. I'm gonna make a Y from your torso up to your arms. Pulling the thumbs up as high as they get. Just engaging some of those posture muscles of the upper back. All right, got a short rest while you grab your dumbbells. You're gonna get your heavier pair of dumbbells. I've linked what I'm using in the description if you want that for reference. But we're gonna do four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds in this first section. Then we'll be switching up the exercises in the second section and going to a lighter pair of dumbbells. We're gonna start off though with some neutral grip floor press. If you've got a bench, feel free to do a neutral grip bench press. So we're gonna want nice close elbows palms facing one another. So pressing to the top, controlling a slightly slower tempo on the way down until the elbows make contact with the floor. Let's try and minimize any rest time in the lockout and any rest time on the floor. Therefore, maximizing our time under tension during the set, giving you optimal results for your strength and muscle growth. Okay, we're gonna get one of the dumbbells for this next one, and we're gonna split it into 20 seconds per arm, doing an overhead strip press. So I recommend starting with your weaker arm. I'm just going to be pressing overhead. 
we're gonna switch arms at the 20 second mark and there's gonna be no transition time. So I want you to switch nice and quickly to the other side. And switch. Back on to the floor press or bench press, but this time you're gonna take a wider grip. So you're gonna be in an overhand grip of your elbows coming a little bit wider. You still wanna make a slight arrow shape between your elbows and your torso, but we're taking a wider angle, maintaining that overhand position. This is a slightly stronger variation and that's why we've put it second so we're starting with the harder one but now that we're slightly fatigued this one should be slightly challenging even though we're using the same weight your feet now we're gonna take both dumbbells we're gonna do a clean and then push press overhead both at the same time so take your time with your reps Great job, you've got 45 seconds off now, just to recover a bit. There's round one of three done in this first section. So we're gonna get back into that neutral grip floor press for round two. controlling that tempo on the way down, minimizing the rest time at the bottom or top of the reps. Taking one dumbbell now, doing single arm overhead strict press, doing 20 seconds on each side. Start with your weaker side. And switch sides.
back onto the floor or bench for that wide grip press. Take both dumbbells now. We've got that clean and push press. There's two down, just one to go. Then we're gonna move to a lighter weight and change up the exercises. to the single arm overhead strict press. and switch sides. Onto the bench or floor for that wide grip overhand floor or bench press. Thank you. 
final set in this first section. We've got that double dumbbell clean and push press. Okay, we're gonna move on to a lighter pair of dumbbells now. Doing the same format, four new exercises, 40-20 for three rounds. If you're ready to level up your training and unlock your full potential, try my advanced version of this push-pull legs workout program. These 30-minute workouts are just the beginning. Are you ready for a more intensified program with 45-minute workouts involving bonus sets and exercises designed for committed individuals. Join the exclusive TBT Studio members area after your workout via the link in the description. Prepare yourself for significant improvements in your performance. So the first exercise, lie on the floor or bench. I'm gonna do a skull crusher to isolate the triceps. Hinge at the elbow, bring in the dumbbells next to your ears and then extend to the straight. Lower than down with control, make sure you don't hit yourself in the head of the dumbbells. Try and minimize any movement of the upper part of the arm between the shoulder and the tip of the elbow. Just hinge down. I like to bring the dumbbells really close to my ears, but not quite touching them probably. Next, we're gonna do a chest fly. If you wanna get a bigger range of motion and you're not already on a bench, you could just grab a cushion and just prop your upper back up a little bit just to allow you to get more of a stretch. So come down nice and wide. We're gonna have bent elbows, but a fairly shallow angle, so quite a wide elbow angle. We're opening the pecs out and then bringing them back in. You don't need to touch the dumbbells together at the top because there's no tension really at the top part of the movement. So just control, get a nice little stretch. Don't overextend your shoulder though. Be careful you don't go too far. Just go what feels comfortable. Squeezing your pecs together towards the top. All right, you only need one dumbbell for the next one. If you're on a bench, you can actually do this at quite a steep incline. But if you're not, you can just do it overhead like me. You take one dumbbell, grip it like this, drop down behind your head, extend up towards the top. This can also be done quite comfortably holding a kettlebell, but the dumbbell works fine. So I'm dropping nice and deep down behind my back, trying to keep the elbows tucked in, not letting them excessively flare out to the sides. I'm gonna hit the front of the shoulders now, doing an alternating front hit raise. Arms down. I'm gonna unlock my knees, give myself a solid base. Okay, 
trying to minimize any movement of the body. Great job, there's one down, two to go, and then that'll be the workout complete. So this push day is focusing on the chest, the anterior, the front of your shoulder, and your triceps, with all those pressing and some fly and front raise movements. And then the next day in the series will be the pull day, focusing on the back and biceps. And then the final third workout in the rotation is gonna be the legs, and I'll throw a little bit of abs in on the leg day as well. Get ready for those skull crushers. I'm gonna grab that cushion. Just allows me to get a bit of a stretch on the pecs. You can do it without, so don't worry if you're just doing it on the floor. You just have to have a smaller range of motion. Obviously the ideal scenario is to have a bench on this one. So keeping a nice consistent shallow elbow angle. Lengthening the pecs. Feeling the stretch, but not overstretching the shoulders. Pinning the shoulder blades back as we squeeze the chest together. I'm gonna pause when the dumbbells are about a foot apart, and then go straight into the next rep. Taking one dumbbell, so that overhead tricep extension. As I said, you can do this on the bench. Get ready for those alternating front raises. I really recommend slightly unlocking the legs, bracing the torso as hard as you can, minimizing any leaning back. Make sure you're controlling the lowering phase as well.
two down, just one more round to go and that'll be day one complete. I was getting challenged in by the end. All right, we're on to the final set of the workout now. Got those alternating front raises, keeping that nice, stable, solid base. And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that and where in the world are you following along from? I truly do love to hear that. Here's a quick cool down stretch for you to do right now. And here's the next day in this three day rotation. I'll see you again soon for another workout.